Okay, um, 15 Minutes of Fame, Posh Porter, uh, Evolution 3? That's correct, yeah. Evolution 3, and this is May 20th, coming up in a few days. That's correct, yes. Yeah. You ready? Yes, I am. You ready? All Everything already written out, now you're just memorizing? That's all I'm doing, I'm in rehearsal mode right now. Okay, okay. Now, I, I noticed you only had, uh, there was two battles. It was Mitris and uh, Dina Brass. That's correct, yes. Well, uh, that, at least that was, uh, that's all I saw. Do you have any more battles other than that? Well, that's all that's cataloged. Um, I keep on my class at six, um, but that was never put online or anything like that for anybody to follow, so it's kind of like a vault that. You know what? The signal is still supposed- crazy. The signal is bad. Okay. Let's try this. You got Boost Low Mobile, battle? Metro PCS? Hell <laughs> damn nah. I got T-Mobile. I would never. You hear me? <laughs> Life would never get that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what That's it better? is. It it seems better than I you know as we go on hopefully it is it'll stay clear so it's pretty good right now. Okay, that's cool. All right, so finish what you were saying. You know you had those two battles. You so you've had other battles but not on camera. That's correct. I also battled um Tory Blue in Atlanta on the Truly the Ring Atlanta card, but that's another vault battle. So a lot of my battles are vaulted, and then those are the only two that's out. So this will be my third catalog battle. So you're related to Cortez? No. Because you said they were vaulted. So you don't know about Cortez and the vault jokes? No, no. (laughs) (laughs) I said no. Uh, No. No offense to Cortez, but I I, you know I don't follow them. Was there a reason the other battles didn't get dropped? Well, it was a couple of reasons. I think it was the camera quality in Atlanta. And so, you know, any Debo, anything with his brand on to it, he doesn't want to leak it with that type of quality. He's not wrong for that. Um, with Source 360, like I was saying, it was another, it was a separate event. It was it was Queen of the Ring affiliated, but it was still the um, Source 360. So that never came out online. Okay. All right, so we, we can really say that you're, you're a rookie. That is correct, yes. Yeah. And, and in, in your opinion, did you win against Mitris and Dina Brass, or did you lose? Tell me about those two battles. Well, with Dina Brass, I take into consideration that I wasn't really um, familiar with the rules of engagement when it comes to battle rap, me just being an artist. Okay. So I wasn't really aware that they wanted me to punch quite so often. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So I, I kind of just charged that to the game, you know, Versus Mitris, the only thing I wish is that my rounds would have been a little longer because I would have clearly smoked her. Bar for bar, I was better than Mitris, and I don't care what anybody says in YouTube. Okay. And, and, so, and now now you know how the game goes, I guess. Now you know about the... That's correct. Okay. Yeah, cause... And it's like, it's like, even though I'm a rookie to battle rap, I still have an 18-year-old pen. I've been an artist for a very long time and a seasoned performer. So to be able to incorporate punches in a pen that's already 18 years old is not that complicated. Mm. So I, fi- I figured I caught on pretty fast. You figure I did one sparring session, one closed room, and now I'm doing the ring. Yeah, so, so it, yeah, I mean, if, if you're a writer and you already know how to write, the, the only other thing with battle rap is knowing how to structure your your rounds and, like you're saying, added a, adding the metaphors and the the punches and the structure of it, of you know, the entertainment factor. So that is correct. So, so we, we're going to, hopefully we're going to find that out on May 20th. Oh yeah. You're definitely going to be in for a performance. I'm quite a character. Have you seen any of my battles? <laughs> I, I watched a little bit of the Mitris <laughs> and a little bit of the, the Dana Brass and that you are, and you're beautiful. Yeah. So, you know, you. that helps too. So, <laughs> um, now, um, you got torture. And uh, I should be talking to Torture soon, too. Um, how do you feel about Torture? I think Torture's dope. Mm-hmm. I like her aggression. You know, um, she doesn't much scheme much, but she's really good with structuring her rounds. Okay. So where is that her uh, her punches can hit? I mean, I really think it's a dope opponent for me. You know, it make, it definitely makes sense. 
Because bar for bar, especially with the aggression, that'll be a really, really dope battle. Yeah, she's got a, a little more experience than you, too. So I know she's had a, a couple of big dogs on her resume, too. So That's correct, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is my opportunity to kind of move up as well. So okay. I'm not mad about that. Now, how, how long ago were the other, the other, when was your first battle? Uh, last January. Last January. So that was the first time you actually battled another female on camera was last January. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And and uh, what made you want to get into battle rap? Was it somebody that pushed you into it or how did that work? It was really, really funny because um, I grew up with Stargirl Lady Red. That's my homegirl. Okay. I, um, I started writing her raps back in the days and then, you know, she took off in battle rap and was writing her own shit. She was actually hosting Queen of the Ring Atlanta. And right, I was right. joking around. And yeah, I was joking around with her. I said, yo, Aaron, you ain't really got nobody on the car putting you on the car. I didn't think she was taking me seriously or anything like that, you know. And so she actually put my name on the car. I'm like, oh, damn, now I got to do it. So <laughs> right, right. Pressure. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to back out. I look like some punk. I'm from the Bronx. You can't do that. So <laughs> you're gone, you know. It, I, it was a really dope battle. I really wish she would have came out. I wish the quality of the camera was better so they would have really seen that. But um, from that class, actually, from that sparring session, I'm the only one Devo picked. Ah. So everybody else that was on that card, they not battle rapping on Queen of the Ring? Not that I know of anyone. Okay. You know, so um, I would say a little later on that year, he called me to come to one awards. Okay. And, and that was my debut. Okay. Um, yeah, I think my I think my son was there uh, when you battled Dina Brass. Uh, he was a handsome guy. Oh, I knew I knew exactly what he was talking about. He was all in my camera. <laughs> yeah, he was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he 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 was putting me up on. See, cause uh, you know I'm 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 uh, I've been doing this a long time, but. You know, when it comes to new, I don't, I don't really have time to watch a lot of new uh, battle rappers, whether it be male or female. So I'm not really up on a lot of them. Like I heard your name, but that was pretty much it. You know, until this evolution card is when I actually said, let me look into it a little bit more, because I see you do the music too. So which that's where it started for you was to do the music, and now you're actually doing the battle rap. So that's correct. So yeah. sometimes I gotta, you know, my son gotta let me know who's who and what the hell's going on. You know, and uh, so he was at that event, which was dope. Um, so this is major for you now. Like, do you really like? Are you really trying to pursue the battle rap aspect of your career? Yeah, I'm gonna play both sides of the fence. You know why? Because I like to challenge myself, and I feel like battle rap challenges me more than music does at this point in time. You know what happens is that uh, I'm an artist that already put out 17 um, mixtapes. I have a large body of work under my belt. So even though you keep changing as an artist, your creativity becomes somewhat cycle, which was evident when I did Winter Wars. Mm -hmm. I wasn't punching, and I could even be incorporating that in my music. So I stay with battle rap because it keeps me on my toes as a writer. It forces me to make my bars more intricate. And creative. That's correct, yes. Yeah, sometimes when you're writing music, you don't have to be too creative. You just have to be lyrical. But in battle rap, you have to be creative and uh, because it's on the spot and you got to entertain the people right now. That's so, correct, yes. Yeah. Um, now, you said you had an 18-year-old pen. That's correct. You yes. look like you're about 21. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him. <laughs> nah, you do. You don't look like you got 18 year pin. Well, you know what? I will take it. I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's what's up, though. But yeah, my pen was born before me. That's what happened, you know? <laughs> that, that's funny. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. So. Um, we we look forward to seeing you all. Uh, any any uh thing you got out now you want people to check out? Um, my music and stuff is still online right now. I'm working on a new project, mm -hmm. so um, I, none of that is out right now. That's not going to be dropping till late summer. Okay. So right now it's just really what I'm doing battle wise. They can check out all my old battles. They can follow me on all social media, Pash Porter. Um, 
and I have videos, music videos online as well. So they can go and check that out. Um, I have a new project, like I said, that will be dropping at the end of this time. And, and any last words for torture? Oh, she knows she's dead. <laughs> I like, like, come on, man. I'm so sick of having this discussion with this girl. I just it's on site. Just be ready. <laughs> so, so y'all been going back and forth about it? Yo, it has been getting petty. You hear me? Oh. It's been getting real petty. All right, we've been trolling the hell out of each other. <laughs> so her that blog that did one like on the gram was hilarious. So I come from my edges again. It wasn't even funny. Nobody fucked with it. You, <laughs> you said the blog that did one that had one like? <laughs> yeah, I gave it a like. I'm a good person. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Killing her life. I ain't even get there yet. All right. Right, right, right. All right. Well, we look. It, it just so happens that you the first one that I interviewed. So when I interview her, you know, um, we'll, we'll see what she has to say too. She might have some good things to say about you. No, she gonna be like this. She's dead. Dead. Like she did in that dumbass blog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go like the blog so she can have two likes. Yo, maybe four. We're going to try to at least get her 10 likes by the end of the week, at least before the venue. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see you get down on uh, 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 May 20th. So uh, we'll see you there, my sister. All right. And, and thank you for your time. I appreciate you sitting down with me. No problem at all. All right. Talk to you later. 15 minutes of fame. Minutes of fame. Let's go.